In this video, I wanted to show you some really exciting updates that we've made to the FastBots platform as requested by our valuable users who've been giving us feedback all the time since we launched the platform. So the first one then is here. If we go to lead collection, we now have the ability to add custom fields. So we can have up to four extra fields of information as well as the four standard ones that you already have access to. And with these four here, the standard ones, you're able to now just drag and drop to move them around if you want to change the order. And then when you add a custom field like this, we can just put in a, a new label such as this one here. And then we can choose whether it's a text field, a phone field or a text area. So if somebody needs to add in uh, a kind of message sized amount of content, whether it's required or not, we can make it required like that. And then uh, once you're finished, you can just click save and now you've got your custom fields just in there. Now, when we go to the lead section, you'll see there's a new lead just come in and then I can click the view details there to view the additional information. And in this case, it was the website that I put in just there. So this is going to be really good if there was extra information you wanted to collect when you collect leads via your chatbot. And don't forget as well that all inbound leads can be sent to any platform of your choice that's connected to Zapier as well. So there's the first update. The second update is a really minor update, but one that people had requested. When you put a chatbot into a page, like on our support page just here, we were always showing the little X at the top right of the chat window. We've gotten rid of that now. Anytime you embed the chatbot into a page, people won't think that you can cross it off. A minor thing, but still, nevertheless, anything that annoys you guys, we sort out. And the next one is a really good update. So this one here now in settings is for team members. Now, when you add a team member to your account, you can give them access to everything normally. But now we're giving you the ability to choose what the user has access to. So we click on the eye and you'll see it says view permissions and then you can choose. So, for example, if you have a client who you're giving access to a chatbot to, you may not want them to have uh, access to the tuning section or, or the appearance or deploy sections or maybe even settings as well and integration. So we can just choose to show them the chat history, you know, leads, uh, the live chat facility and so on until we're happy. And let's just get rid of text there as well, just to demo the system. Click save. And that's it. Now that user will just have access to that. And I can show you what that looks like now. So here I am as that user. Let's refresh the page. Here's the chat bot that I've just gained access to. Um, but now you'll see that the left hand side, we've only got these things that we're allowed to access. So that's a really useful update, particularly for people who resell the chat bots. Next, we have another frequently requested update, and that is to choose a time zone for your chatbot. And you can do that right here now in settings, time zone, and then you can go ahead and pick the time zone uh, where you are based. And now all of the message timings and so on that you see in places like this, the chat history, the leads and so on, uh, everything will be in your chosen time zone, including here where we have our links and we can see the date it's added and so on and conversation history, everything is going to be in your time zone. So that was another frequently requested update and we really hope you like it. Now we've got more coming this week. I think you're going to really love the next update, but this just demonstrates our willingness to listen to our users and to try and make this platform the best chatbot platform we possibly can.